this man was um, asking if there was any rooms available. I told him we were full. Right. You heard her. Mm -hmm. Not good enough for your luxurious guest house, am I? Funny, from the outside, it looks like a tatty backstreet boozer. All right, that's enough. On your way. I'll show you how. Excuse me. No. Never get noticed at bars, ever. What? Even with that lovely mane of hair? Ah, uh, to miss someone who looks like a human Belisha beacon. <laughs> Hello? Oi, Mush! Gentlemen want serving. We're not under this game. If Sally's kicked him out, it must be because she knows what he's really like. You don't know that. Tim's not going to let her chuck his own dad out, is he? Look, I have told you, you cannot go around pretending to be Miss Marple. I know, I know. Now, I need you to stay away from Jeff, as well as Sally and Tim. Now, particularly since I've now put out my witness requests. But maybe Sally's seen the light since all that escort stuff came out. Maybe that's why she kicked Jeff out. Now, you are jumping to conclusions. Now, I know, Sally. Under all that hyacinth bouquet rubbish, there's a deeply moral woman. And she's not a fool, either. If anyone's got a good idea of what went on between Gran and Jeff, it's her. Hey. Are you OK, love? Yeah, shouldn't you be getting back to your cab shift? I've uh, cleared it with Tim, it's fine. But uh, if you want to have the night off... Shop! Shop! Oh, yeah. I think you should make yourself useful while you're here, then, yeah? Yeah. Yes, please. I got the first round last time. Did you? Yes, and the last one as well, as I recall. Well, I wasn't keeping a tally. Shall I go and come back? No, no, no. <clears throat> what would you like? Bottle of lager, thank you. And a glass of tap water for me, I think. was in it before. Yeah. I had sex with him. What? When I was ill. When I ran away. I can barely remember it. OK, just... Start again. I don't know, Peter. It was bucketing it down. It, it was raining. I had nowhere to go. It was cold, and that was the deal. I don't believe this. Now he wants money. The grand. That Chelsea that was in before, she, um, she knew me. I, I didn't recognise her, but she must have gone back and told him. And... <laughs> I'll kill him. No. Yeah. You can't, you don't understand. It, it wasn't. He didn't. Peter, he didn't force me. If you can barely remember anything. I remember enough. It's been coming back to me ever since I saw his snide smug little face. I remember enough. No. The state you were in, you couldn't consent. Carla, this, this is rape. No. We need to call no, the police. No, Peter! Stop telling me what to do. All right. Sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I know you didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just need to think. Because he's going to come back. And he's going to want his money. Otherwise, he's going to tell the whole world what happened.
You don't have to move out. Well, I'm trying to support my granddad, which is more than what you've done. I'm quite capable of working the washing machine, you know. Well, I'm moving in. That's the end of it. Right, well, if you've made your mind up... So, first of all, you throw my dad out, now you're chucking my daughter out. I'm not chucking anybody out. Look, this is my decision. See? <sighs> Come on, Grandad. She'll be back when she's calmed down. I'll talk to her. Happy now. It's like, how do I act around her? So, say I go into Roy's, right, and I want poached eggs on toast. What do I say? Can I have poached egg on toast, please? Well, you know what I mean, Sarah. So. Will you just set the table? Surprised it's free. Old Braveheart's usually come and did it by now. Sat there with his laptop trying to look busy and important. Yeah, he's, um, he's on a work stew. On the pop, you mean? Well, actually, he's taking Daniel with him. Said it might do him good to have a night out. Really? Why do you think it's too soon? No, I'm just surprised he's doing something nice for someone <laughs> for a change. Um, right, are you having dinner with kids? I have it with a grown up. No, because I know that you like dining associate with it. <laughs> right, you three. I'm setting the table. So get off your games, get your backsides in gear, and get down here. Do you know what? At least she's going to be nearby. I mean, she's going to be around all the things that she had in her life before. And if that doesn't jog her memory, then nothing will. Yeah. She's coming home. It's not home, home, though, is it? Pause, <laughs> da! Give me your number, I'll send it to you. I'm okay. Hey, how long does it take to get a drink around here? Not very long, not when you're with this one. Nicky, nice to meet you. Adam, nice to meet you. You solicitor? In a manner of speaking. What was it that you said that you wanted? Uh, I've just seen someone in each schmoo, so I best stay sober. I'll see you later. Yeah, he's good looking, isn't he? Not my type. Now, do you want to keep going with the porn stars, or do you fancy moving on to something a bit different? I'm grateful for the shift, but it's dead in here. If you want me to go. Uh, no, love, I'd, I'd rather you stayed. Oh, OK. I'm just thinking of the wage bill. Hey, I'll have a clean of those tables then, shall I? Which children's entertainer's catchphrase was, ooh, I could crush a grape? What kind of a catchphrase is that? Do you give up? No. I can't think of any children's entertainer. Charlie Caroli. Crush a grape? Charlie Carroll is Italian. Well, what difference does that make? Give up. No. Hang on, I can see it now. It's a show, and just when the kids were coming home from school... It's Top Cat! Top Cat's not a children's entertainer. Well, it's a cartoon character, isn't it? If that's not entertaining for children, <laughs> what's it for? It's uh, Stu Francis, Cracker Jack. I, I was just going to say that! <laughs> How much can you get off your credit card? Uh, two lots of 300 if it can stand it, you know. So, you're really going to pay him, love? Oh, Peter, people around here really think I'm cuckoo. They're a bit more enlightened than that. What about Tracy? If she gets wind of this, she's not going to let me live it down, is she? Carla, look at me. Whatever happens, I will be right by your side. I don't think I can. People that I love and care about, knowing what I was reduced to. I don't think I can, I can take it. You were gone a while. We timing me then? <laughs> no. I got another round in. I wasn't sure what you wanted, so uh, I got you the same again. You got me another water. What do you think I am, a flaming camel? <laughs> Bottle of lager while you're down there, please, Peter. Hello? Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> I need a loo. I don't know what you wanted me to come with you for. Because I need a buffer. Oh, it was me thinking it was my sparkling personality. He keeps quizzing me on why I don't trust Jeff. And why don't you trust Jeff? Oh, come on. I mean, Yasmin as the bullying, hard-faced Harridan, and Jeff as the innocent victim. Mm. Hey, what can I get you? Uh, pack the cider. I'm fine. Hey. Hey. 
I got 600 off yours. I used my credit card for the other 400. You don't have to do this, you know. I got your pint. Cheers. Tim, can we just have a nice, normal night in the pub? Just the three of us. You know what, so Maybe you should sit with them too. Make up stories about what a monster me old man is. Look, I'm really sorry about all this. This is just a really difficult time. Come on, Sal, let's sit down. See what I mean? Yeah. But let me handle it, yeah? If the wheels really are coming off with those two, we need to think of the best possible way to exploit it. Do not get me wrong. I completely adore the little fella, all right? But it's just that nobody tells you how hard it's going to be. Don't they? OK, all right, OK, <laughs> all right, you're right. Yes. Everybody tells you how hard it's going to be, but you don't believe them because you think that you're just that capable and that fantastic and that fatherhood's just going to come really, really easily to you. And it doesn't. Oh, it really doesn't. You know, it's the adult company that I miss. It gets very lonely. I understand. Just need to powder my nose for your original meaning. I'm a good girl, me. Yeah, uh, listen, I think that maybe I should get going, relieve the babysitter. Sorry, single dads are no fun. Oh, we could carry this on somewhere quieter. Uh, actually, yeah. Why not? Great. Won't be a minute. OK. Sorry to barge in like this. You're not having your tea, are you? No, I'm just about to go and see Carla, actually. Right. Well, that's Shona's stuff. And I, I got her some essentials as well, because she likes to snack. Well, she used to. Oh, that's very thoughtful. Yeah, I got her some um, peanut butter, some hot chocolate, and she goes mad for these little raspberry jelly oh, things. I'm not familiar. Well, my mum used to get them for the kids, you know, for, like, the pat lunch, and she could never understand why they were always missing in the morning. That's cos Shona would creep down and she'd nick them and then eat them in the bath like some mutton. Yes, so, well, I'm sure she'll be very grateful. Yeah, and it's a copy of Ahmed's tale. She's nearly finished that. She may have to start again. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, I'm, I would prefer her to come home, but, um, I can't tell you how grateful I am, Roy, that, you know, you, you're taking her in. I'll do whatever I can to help. I know you will. You're not a hugger, are you? Uh, no, no, no. Well, I, I will walk out with you if that will suffice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm from Cracker Jack. Stu Francis. Well done. Before your time, I thought. Oh, well, my dad used to say it all the time when I was small. Oh, I could crush a grape. <laughs> and then once we saw Stu in the Arndale Centre and my dad had his photo with him, so it always stuck. My love, why don't you take a break? Stop fussing. Ah, oh, hello. Evening. Oh. One of the advantages of having Shona to stay is an impromptu, if enforced, spring clean found under the bed. One pair of uh, platform flip-flops and your Barbie alarm clock. Shh, for your roomy reputation. Yeah. They're not mine. Couple of drinks on the house to start us off. You two are playing a very dangerous game, do you know that? Why well, you put out I'm talking to her? Carla, would you like these people to leave? <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna kick us out or are you for a scum? Would you fancy your chances, old man? Yeah? You really think these two are gonna save you? I can have your attention, everyone. Uh, as you all know, last year I had a breakdown, and although I wasn't as badly affected as some, 
It was a very dark period of my life. One I'd hoped I'd put behind me. But then these pair turned up. And it turns out that in my very darkest point of that, I slept with this one. In exchange for a roof over me head. I don't remember much about it, thankfully, but now these charmers are trying to blackmail me. No. Broadcast what I did, unless I hand over a grand to them. Only the thing about blackmail, it, it doesn't work, does it? If everyone knows the secret. You think you're so clever. You weren't so clever when you were begging me for it. Don't just leave them, they're not worth it. Time to go, I think, kids. Oh, you wouldn't hit a woman, not all these witnesses. Yeah, you might not, but I'm quite keen. Let go! Hey, get your hands off her! Oh, on. Hey, maybe you're going to yeah. score today, mate. Come on, you'll do nothing. For you, you'll don't. do nothing! Oh. Hey, it's over. It's over. That took enormous courage. Yeah. Here, here. Well done, girl. Um, well, since we got the money out, um, I guess the next round's on me. To everyone. My round, I think. Good to see a woman refusing to be bullied by a man. Well, like Yasmin, you mean? No. Tim! <sighs> How much more do you need to see? OK, fine, I'll talk to her. If Sally really is on Yasmin's side, this could change everything. I've never been more proud of you, do you know that? Never. Yeah, well, I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> what time it is. Why? Where have you got to be? No, it's, it's just that uh, Tim was saying that they're a bit short-staffed over the road, that's all. Oh. Go, go, finish your shifts. So Honestly, I'll be fine now them two are at me. Nah, no, no, it's fine. I might even be of some use now, you know. And uh, I've got Roy, haven't I? Always. You sure you'll be all right? Mm. OK. I won't be late. Texting the babysitter. Should we sort the boring bit out first? Boring bit? The money. The rooms here are nice. I'm £150 an hour on top. Obviously, I'm happy to do a good deal if you are looking for longer. Hi, right, pal. Um, listen, can we talk? I'm going to chat to Lily in a bit, but I just want to speak to you first. Yeah, in a minute. No, now. I'm just nearly at the end of this level. You are now. No! Yes. This is serious, Max. Now, you know Shona's coming on tomorrow, don't you? I still don't know why she can't live with us. No, she's lost her memory, but she's still our stepmom. Yeah, well, I guess we're just hoping this is like baby steps, you know? But what I don't want is you and Lily to see her on the street and then scare her off. Is she still called Shona? Of course she is, you pleb. I don't know, do I? She might have forgot her name. Well, she hasn't. She's just forgotten other bits. The bits we're buzzing. Right, go on, go and get yourself in the shower. I think we can talk about this some more tomorrow, can't we? Yeah. We'll help her remember. I'll make a playlist of the favourite songs. That's a nice idea. We'll get through this. It's like I love her so much, but she's literally no idea. She does. It's in there somewhere. We'll find it. What are you doing, you weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Go and have a chat with Lily and I'll... Finish the washing up. Sarah. Yes. Seriously, when the hell are you and Braveheart moving out? Daniel, will you wait? Listen, look, I am not judging you, OK? I just... I thought that you liked me. I do like you. Yes, but you charge for your company. Look, I didn't mean to upset you. It's just that you said that you felt lonely and wanted adult company. Yes, but I didn't mean...
That's all I've got. Don't need a receipt. Close my eyes for a minute. Mommy Peter, it's two o'clock. <sighs> I meant to finish at midnight. I just stopped off for a pizza. Eh? Oh, great. I could eat a scary fox. I'll get some plates. Plates? Listen to you, fancy pants. <laughs> investigate a serious assault at the Brightwell estate. Now, the couple, a man and a woman in their 30s, were found badly beaten. Now, police. Here, do you fancy watching a, a Luke Cage? Nah. Let's just talk. Talk? Seems a bit drastic. Oh, baby. Yes. Mm. What's up? Just thinking how much I love you. Even after today? Even more so after today. I love you too. Shut up, eat pizza. <laughs> Settle in tonight, we've a classic Vera coming up, uncovering troubled families and their tormented pasts. That's here in half an hour. After a bit of comedy for you, and Travis gets the family into a real pickle. It's Birds of a Feather, next. <laughs>